y'all are out there gearing up for bow season you might want to check out this bag this is the new view camo bow hunting backpack and you can tell the bow is cradled nicely in the middle of the bag and this is a nice solid bag and it doesn't come in at a heavy price point either for way less than 100 bucks you can get one of these bags so you know this thing for me i believe is suited for somebody that's doing some long treks into the woods maybe elk hunting where you're out west and you're going a long distance before you get to your hunting spot it's gonna make it nice and comfortable having your bow right in the middle of this bag all right guys let's dive into this right now talking about what this bag's made out of so this bag is made out of 600d oxford nylon material I'll zoom in just a little bit you can see the material so the camo pattern looks pretty nice as well looks like something you'd find maybe in the midwest down south but nonetheless, you can use this just about anywhere. It's a nice breakup pattern. It's just a little scan of the outside a little bit. So the material is abrasion, tear, and water resistant. It's a pretty tough filling material. And it doesn't feel like a material that burrs, little things like that are gonna stick to. You're not gonna go in the woods and then come back out with just burrs all over this thing. It seems like it's a pretty uh, solid material. It's not going to really stick to those things. Until right here, it's got a side mounted quiver holder. And it's really easy to unsecure this thing. All you have to do is unclip these little buckles, and then your quiver can come right out. And this is a removable pouch as well. You can see right there, it just has a clip, and you can take the quiver mount right off this thing. Um, you know, this bag is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. I thought this thing was gonna be pretty small, and I'm not saying this is a bad thing at all. It just surprised me at how large this bag is. I mean, I would say this is at least 24 inches tall, because I got about a 32 axle axle bow. I mean, this is about 24 inches right here. Pretty good size bag, which is good. I mean, it's gonna be roomy. It's got tons of pockets. It's got this big admin pouch right here. Put tons of stuff down in there. This right here flips out and it has these securement points. That way it doesn't fly open completely. It's got another little mesh pouch there. And I didn't throw too much stuff in this bag. I did throw a couple things. Right here, got a bigger pouch. I do have my bino harness and everything down in there. I mean, that's a good size pocket right there. I mean, that's at least 15 inches tall of a pocket and about 12 inches wide. This is the new view logo right there. So let's go set this bag down and I'm gonna show you the interior pocket, the one where the bow cradles into. It's about right here at the range. So we're just gonna put it down right there. Unclip these three buckles, so I'll show you that. There's three securement buckles here on the side, and that's what keeps the whole bag from flying open. And then that's where it nestles the bow. And this is a very padded material right here. I would say, you know, a little bit more than a quarter of an inch material on the padding, but it, it's padded enough. And then it has this big pouch down here at the bottom, and that is what really secures the bow in from sliding down and moving around then it's got these little retainment buckles here in the middle and that's what secures the bow in so you can pull it right out so you can adjust these around i kind of wish those would have been laid out sideways that way it's a little bit easier so you can go around your riser you just clip it in however you need to i did move these around just a little bit you can see i just clip them around the riser and i do have a longer stabilizer on that's why it's sticking out the side but you can tell you can run a longer stabilizer and it still work and i did forget to mention this top pocket here it has this big pocket up top and i've just put my extra my back bar I got a hunting knife in there just to demonstrate kind of what the stuff you can put in there. Then it's got these two open mesh pouches up front. 
but very solid looking package. If you're looking for something that's nice, portable, it's gonna hold your bow. You're not gonna be damaging it, walking through the woods, especially if you're elk hunting out west and you're, you're going through a lot of thick brush, that kind of stuff, you're keeping your bow nice and safe. And then when you get to your tree or wherever you're hunting at, you can break this thing out. All right, on the back here, you do have a carry handle. That way you can you know, carry it around, throw it in your truck, that kind of stuff. Maybe hang it up when you get to your hunting spot. But then you have your straps here, which are padded. Maybe a little bit more than a quarter of an inch padding. It's not half inch padding. Uh, could have been a little bit more padded. I think it added to the comfort a little bit more. But then it's not a very heavy backpack. So maybe that's why, um, but you do get some securement points here, some little D loops. And then the back is padded as well with the same padding as the straps. And then you get the waist straps and it's padded as well. Some more little securement points. Um, the chest strap does have a whistle, so you can whistle. So maybe if you need to be rescued or something like that, Catch somebody's attention you can do that but yeah just very basic layout for the straps and stuff i do have these cinched down pretty good i'm just gonna help this on your back I will say with the bow in there, it is balanced really good, but that's all going to be dependent on kind of how you secure it in there and the balance of your bow. If you're gearing up for bow season, you might want to check out one of these bags, especially if you're looking for something to hold your bow while you're making those long treks into the woods. This thing's gonna be a great little option for you. Like I said, this is very budget friendly. I wanna say this is like 60 bucks. I mean, that is not expensive for something like this. So just keep in mind, this isn't like extreme quality, like you'd get out of something like Sitka or something like that. This is very budget friendly. That's why the price is so low, but this is functional and it gets the job done. No frills, none of the, the craziness. Um, but it's just basic and it gets the job done. So if you're looking for something like that, this might be right up your alley. Guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Catch you in future videos.